Odd Touch. Uh, it was a firmware 1.112. Uh, it has been downgraded to a 1.11 and I'm going to show you fairly easy how this is done without going through a lot of hoops uh, to accomplish what you need to do. Uh, in the end you will have a, a bunch of icons like I do here and maybe even more. Uh, so let's get forward and moving on this. Uh, how to get a 1.112 firmware downgraded to a 1.11 and using jailbreak we'll be able to add all sorts of features uh, to your iPod Touch. Okay, two of the things that, uh, actually probably three things we need to keep in mind here is uh, the need to have the downgrade to 1.11, uh, the firmware, to get jailbreak to work. Now in my blog you'll find the link um, from Apple's site to do just that. That's going to be an integral part of getting this jailbreak to work for your uh, iPod Touch uh, if it's a 1.12 firmware. Uh, of course iTunes you'll need to have that uh, installed on, on your machine already and you'll need to connect your iPod Touch to your computer. Now this is using a Windows machine. Uh, I don't know how uh, the process works on a Mac but this is on a Windows machine.